Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about winging of scapula or winged scapula. This is a clinical condition. This happens due to paralysis of the serratus anterior muscle, due to injury to the long thoracic nerve. The medial border of the scapula moves away from the thoracic wall and the scapula looks like a wing. So this is normal. This is the medial border of the scapula. Okay. Here, this is the winged scapula. This border is very prominent here. This border has came out of the posterior thoracic wall and this is the winged scapula. And Winging becomes more prominent when a person supports on a hand and pushes the hand or palm against the wall like this person. Okay. And due to paralysis of the serratus anterior, there will be lack of rotation of the glenoid cavity. And that's why this person has difficulty to do abduction above 90 degree okay so that is the problem here this is the lateral view of the winging of the scapula okay so the serratus anterior is very important muscle it is it is taking origin from the ribs and also between the from the connective tissue in between the ribs. It takes origin from rib number one to, to rib number nine, maybe rib number eight in some individual, maybe rib number 10. It inserts, inserts to the costal surface. This is the dorsal surface underneath will be the costal surface of the vertebral border or medial border of the scapula. Okay, this is the vertebral border of the scapula. Here is the site of insertion, insertion of the serratus anterior, takes origin from the upper nine ribs, okay. So it inserts to the costal surface or you can say anterior surface of the vertebral border of the scapula. It pulls the scapula forwards over the thoracic wall and facilitates scapular rotation, okay keeps the costal surfaces of the scapula closely opposed to the thoracic wall. Okay, that is the idea. So if it is paralyzed, so the, the serous anterior cannot oppose the scapula to the thoracic wall. So this border will came out of the thoracic wall. It will be very prominent. Okay and the serratus anterior innervated by the long thoracic nerve. Long thoracic nerve is coming out of the root of the brachial plexus from C5, C6, C7 root and the long thoracic nerve passes over the muscle. It is covered by skin and superficial fascia. So this part of the chest wall, the, the chest wall is very much vulnerable to have injury to the long thoracic nerve. Okay, so it is passing over the lateral thoracic wall over the serratus anterior muscle and this is vulnerable to injury and that will lead to winging of the scapula. Okay, when the arm is raised, the medial border of the inferior angle of the scapula moves away from the posterior wall. Okay. In a patient with winged scapula, paralysis of the, of the long thoracic nerve. Okay. The deformation is the winged scapula. This is the winged scapula. The medial border is coming, is coming out of the chest wall. This is very prominent medial border, especially the inferior angle and also the entire, entire medial border. 
the patient is unable to a b duct or abduct above the horizontal position because the serratus anterior is unable to rotate the glenoid cavity superiorly okay so his abduction is restricted to the 90 degree doesn't go beyond 90 degree so let us summarize what is the problem with wing scapula this is due to non functioning of the serratus anterior muscle origin of serratus anterior from the rib number 1 to rib number 9 insertion to the anterior surface or costal surface of the medial border of the scapula so what will happen if it is paralyzed the scapula medial border will will come out of the thoracic wall it will be very prominent and it will be very prominent when a person lean on his hand or he pushes his hand against a an, a, an wall so then the medial border will be very prominent we call it winged scapula this may happen due to injury stab injury gunshot injury on the lateral thoracic wall along the medial border of the axilla it may happen due to radical mastectomy surgery in the axilla so or any other the radical mastectomy or any other surgery in the axilla that may damage the long thoracic nerve that may lead to wing scapula and that's all about the wing scapula if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please subscribe my channel and have a nice day bye now